Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm here for the West Brom vs Millwall preview. Uh, I do apologise as I'm recording this video, it is raining a lot outside so if you do pick up some of the rain hitting the window, uh, I do apologise for that but as I say, uh, Saturday afternoon tomorrow at 3 o'clock, it's West Brom taking on Millwall. First game back at the Hawthorns for the new season since the playoff loss to Aston Villa so it'll be interesting to see how the team gets on and particularly with the new signings we brought in. It gave uh, a lot of optimism after deadline day with the four players we uh, we brought in. Uh, we'll come against the tough opposition in Millwall, who have won their opening game 1-0 against Preston. Uh, so it should be a tough game. We, we should be on guard for Millwall because they do have some very good players and they've done some good business this uh, transfer winner. So for the team news for West Brom, um, a lot of players should be making their home debuts, like Joey Sawyers, Krovinovic. Uh, they did make and play at the Hawthorns against Bournemouth in the pre-season, but obviously this will be the first time in the Championship. Um, I'd say out of the deadline day signings, I'd say Charlie Austin is the most likely to start. Slavin Bilic did say he was uh, raring to go and he was and he was uh, fit, so I'd expect Austin to start. Uh, Dean Garner, Willock and Pereira, I believe, will be on the bench. Uh, obviously, Gibbs and Edwards went off injured against Nottingham Forest last week. I think they're expected to be fit. Livermore was struggling with an injury as well, but I think all of those players should be fit um, to play a part in the game tomorrow. For Millwall, uh, on deadline day, they brought in a goalkeeper, Luke Steele. Obviously, their new sign in front fielding got injured last week, so they needed to find a replacement. They do have, uh, I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, Baliakowski um, <laughs> from. Ipswich, uh, he's another keeper. I don't know who's going to start. Could be either Steel or, or that, or the other goalkeeper. Um, obviously, Tom Elliott ruled out with injury as well for Millwall. Uh, they've also brought some players in in this transfer window: Matt Smith, Connor Mahoney, Bob Varson, uh, Pierce as well. Good, experienced Championship players. Um, my prediction for the game: I'm going to go three-one West Brom. I'm hoping that we can get off to another solid start and get two wins from our opening two games. I'm going to go Charlie Austin, Krovinovic and Matt Phillips to get the goals for West Brom. I'm going to go Matt Smith to get the goal for Millwall. And finally, my predicted team, I think Slavin Bilic will play. It will be a 4-3-3. Sam Johnson in goal. I think the back four will be Nathan Ferguson, Semi Ajayi, Carl Bartley and Kieran Gibbs. I think that Ferguson would be it would be very harsh for him to lose his place after a man of the match performance on Saturday. Uh, three midfielders: Jake Livermore, Romain Sawyers, and Philip Krovinovic. Uh, obviously, they were very solid against Nottingham Forest. I expect that to be kept the same. And a four with three of Matt Phillips on the right, Carl Edwards on the left, and Charlie Austin up front. I think will start as striker. I think he's got the potential to be a starter out of all the deadline day signings, given what Slavin Bilic said about him uh, but guys if you enjoyed this uh, quick preview make sure to give it a like comment down below your thoughts of west brom millwall score predictions scores etc and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you for the vlog against millwall on saturday evening